So in video one, we talked about making lists, basics of making ordered lists and unordered lists. We know that ordered lists have usually numeric values. We can also change them to alphabetic values. So we can make them instead of one, two, three, four for the list items, A, B, C, D for the list items. Um, and then unordered lists are bulleted lists. They're those little dots that show up at the beginning of our list items. I'm going to show you how to modify these things using CSS. So let's go to our markup and we have to make a style sheet. Let's think way back to a few lessons ago. Style type attribute equals text slash CSS. Got to have it like that or it won't work. Then close it. All right, so in the body of our style rule, we're going to add a couple of style rules. So I'm going to first modify the OL. So I'll use my OL element selector, OL. Create a declaration block here and make some declarations. The first declaration that we're going to use is list style type. This is going to control what the bullets look like. Okay, so one of the things that I recommended was to read a tutorial on lists and CSS. Okay, and then I said it was important to watch this before part two of this video. So I'm going to go to that page just so you can see what I'm talking about. There are possible values for list style type right in through here okay so for ordered lists we have none which means no marker at all and I'll show you what that looks like list style type none I'm going to save it go back to my page and you should see them disappear see that they're no longer there so that's list style type none this is going to become pretty important later when we want to make lists into uh, navigation because you don't always want the bullets there but we want to have the formatting of the list so list style type none is an important one that we're going to be using later let's go back to this table here circle the marker is a circle so I can actually change an ordered list into a bulleted list oops wrong page See, we've got the circles there for my ordered list. Kind of crazy. Go back to the table of options here. We also have disk, which is the black disk. Square, which makes, makes a square marker. Um, Armenian. We could see what that does. The marker is traditional Armenian numbering. Save it refresh and we've got Armenian numbering there interesting huh so we can also do decimal the marker is a number decimal leading to zero the marker is a number padded by initial zeros so zero one zero two zero three etc Georgian the marker is traditional Georgian numbering and ban gan etc lower alpha so this is where we're going to start getting into some of the English ones here which we'll probably be using more frequently here in the States. Um, lower alpha is lowercase alphabetical. Save it. Refresh it. There you go. Lowercase alphabetical. We can do uppercase alphabetical by going to upper alpha. We can do Greek letters, we can do Latin letters, we can do Roman numerals, lowercase or uppercase. So we can modify these ordered lists in any way we want, really. What I want you to do now is I want you to take a few minutes to practice using every one of these values and see what they do in an ordered list, okay? For unordered list, is pretty simple. We can only modify it in these ways. None, disk, 
circle, or square. So we can make another rule here for UL list style type square. Save it, go back, refresh it, and we've got squares. So I want you to go through and practice all of those possible values for the list style type property. So let's review. We used some CSS up in our style sheet up here in the head, okay? We modified both the OL and the UL using the list style type property. So this is a property, list style type is a property. And then we went through the various values that we could enter in. This is a value. You can find those values right here on CSS lists. And it has these two tables. I want you to go through these two tables and play with these different options.